the announcement of the new Apple Vision Pro, something happened that has never before occurred in Apple history. Whilst the CEO, Tim Cook, was on stage, he never once actually used the Vision Pro. This might seem like a trivial detail, but the reality is actually far more sinister. The CEO of Apple has always used the product as they first announced it to the public. So that begs the question, why did Tim Cook refuse to use the Vision Pro? Apple's executives were not the only ones who did not wear the new Apple Vision Pro. In fact, not a single creator was allowed to film themselves wearing the headset. No photos, no video? No. It is very clear that Apple is trying to hide something. But what? Even though they allowed people to test the inside of the glasses, they still refused to show us footage from the outside perspective. Instead, we are constantly shown edited videos of isolated models sitting alone in their homes. Why does Apple not want us to see what their headset looks like on a real human? The answer is quite simple. There is something inherently uncanny about covering one's face in public. Horror movies use this tactic all the time to elicit fear. Uncanny Valley refers to the psychological phenomenon where humans Humans react with unease or even revulsion when they are faced with a creature that resembles a human but doesn't quite pull it off. Apple tried to prevent this uncanny appearance by developing a screen on the outside of the Vision Pro called EyeSight. With this technology, onlookers will be able to see your digital persona on the front of the glasses, but not your actual eyes. It will be reacting to your eye movement in real time, mimicking human behavior. This would all have been fine if they showed us how it looked, but they didn't. Those who got to test Apple's glasses all found themselves describing a general feeling of uneasiness. So you're not actually like looking at someone's eyes, but it kind of feels like you are. Kind of creepy, a little bit, I don't know. That, that kind of uneasiness that you get by not actually knowing what someone wearing one of these headsets is looking at. It still wasn't fully natural, like, you know, it, it almost feels like you're talking to uh, somebody that's uh, made from AI. It's time to delve into the cooperative eye hypothesis. The human eye has three main parts that are distinguishable to others. The pupil, which is the black dot in the middle, the iris, which is the color around it, and the sclera, which is the white surrounding it all. Most other mammals have a different type of sclera that is mostly dark. The cooperative eye hypothesis suggests that being able to quickly tell the direction of someone's gaze is such an important non-verbal signal that throughout our evolution humans born with dark sclera were less successful in surviving than those with white sclera. Hominids whose gazes were difficult to read were either unsuccessful in finding a mate or seen as an unpredictable threat and therefore killed. This theory shouldn't be too far-fetched. Look at this depiction of a demonic entity. Nothing in this image has been changed other than the eyes, which now contain nothing but blackness. If this sparks some kind of primal fear in you, then you'll know how your ancestors felt when somebody was born with no whites in their eyes. We often exploit these primal fears in movies and TV shows, but in Apple's case, the goal is to avoid these fears at all costs. So, how about we talk about eyebrows, since Apple didn't bother to. Studies have shown that eyebrows could be just as important in facial recognition as eyes. In fact, the absence of eyebrows in familiar faces lead to a very large and significant disruption in recognition performance. In fact, a far greater decrease in facial recognition is observed in the absence of eyebrows than in the absence of eyes. Unlike our ancestors and fellow mammals, we evolved to have far less hair on our face for an evolutionary advantage. Social expectations even encourage us to diminish our facial hair, all except for our eyebrows. The grooming of eyebrows have been witnessed throughout history. During the 18th century in Western Europe, full eyebrows were considered so essential to facial beauty that some upper-class women and courtiers would affix mouse hides to their foreheads. I kid you not. The importance of eyebrows and their correlation to beauty has not waned to this day. Modern day women will go as far as shaving off their eyebrows just so they can draw them back on again. They might not fully understand the significance of these actions in the moment, but evolution has put a lot of emphasis on these meticulously placed strands of hair. Eyebrows play a very important role in the expression of emotions and in the production of other social signals, all of which will be lost under the aluminium foil of the Vision Pro. 
Apple's. The most striking dangers of Apple Vision is not that it lets you see more, but that others see less of you. By wearing these glasses, you deprive others of the ability to follow your gaze and assess your intentions and trustworthiness. While in the middle of a conversation, you could be taking pictures of someone without their consent or googling answers to co-workers questions using chat gpt there's a reason we say that eyes are the windows to the soul so what happens when we close those windows shut and hide behind the black curtains of augmented reality subscribe and watch my next video to find out